Chapter 5, Lesson 2, The Mexican-American War. Vocabulary in the section, slavery, armed forces, treaty, territory. The Mexican-American War. Build on what you know. What are some reasons neighbors fight? The United States and Mexico were once neighboring countries at war. Neighbors at war. Main idea. Disagreements about borders between the United States and Mexico led to war. By 1846, Mexico and the United States had disagreed many times about the borders between them. In April of that year, they fought on land both said was theirs. President James Polk wanted to go to war against Mexico. Some groups in the United States said a war would just be an excuse to take land from Mexico. People who were against slavery were against the war too. Slavery is the practice of buying and selling people and forcing them to work without pay. Laws allowed slavery in some states, but not in all of them. People who were against slavery worried that it would be allowed in land gained through war. Anti-slavery poster. The photograph at the right is you'll see an anti-slavery poster. Groups against slavery held large meetings to build support. War begins. President Polk said he wanted to go to war to acquire or get California. In May 1846, the United States declared war on Mexico. Today, the war is called the Mexican-American War. Commodore John D. Sloat, who was in charge of the United States Navy ship of United States Navy ships along the Pacific coast, had orders to take California ports from Mexico as soon as the United States declared war. The message that war had been declared took more than a month to travel from Washington, D.C. to California. In early July, Sloat heard that the war had started. He landed his armed forces at the port of Monterey on July 7. Armed forces are groups organized to protect a country with weapons. Sloat's forces raised the American flag at Monterey. They said the town belonged to the United States. Sloat sent orders to another ship to capture Yerba Buena and San Francisco Bay. Commodore Robert Stockton captured San Diego and Los Angeles. Review. Why were some people in the United States against war with Mexico? Marines landing at Monterey. If you look at the photograph above, you'll see that Marines like these traveled by sea and fought on land. Reading visuals. Describe what is happening in the boats and on land in the photograph at the top of the page. California and the War. Page 168. Main idea. The Mexican-American War made California a part of the United States. Other battles in California took place on land. General Stephen Watts Kearney led United States Army troops in from the east. At about the same time, more United States forces landed in Los Angeles. Kearney and Stockton joined forces. Meanwhile, John C. Fremont led other troops down from the north. He arrived in Santa Barbara in January of 1847. The Treaty of Cahuenga. While in Santa Barbara, Fremont met, met Bernarda Ruiz. Ruiz, a Californio, had sons in the Mexican army. She told Fremont that he would win support from Californios if he made peace with the Mexican army. Ruiz also spoke to General Andres Pico, a California leader in the Mexican army. Fremont and Pico worked out a peace treaty that allowed the Mexican troops in California to go home safely. A treaty is a written agreement between countries. New Boundaries When the war ended, Mexico gave up almost half its land to United, United States. Map skill. Name three bodies of water in the territory gained from Mexico. If you look at the map at the bottom of the page, you'll see the land after the Mexican-American War. The yellow represents land gained by the United States in 1848, and the purple is the land bought from Mexico later in 1853. The war ends. The Treaty of Coenga ended the fighting in California. For more than a year after that, the war continued in other places. After the United States defeated Mexico, both sides signed the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo. This treaty formed Mexico to give the territory of California to the United States. 
A territory is land that belongs to a country. The territory included present-day California, Nevada, and Utah, as well as parts of four other present-day states. Review. Why did fighting in the California stop before the Mexican-American War ended? Lesson Summary. The United States went to war with Mexico to gain land. Fighting in California ended with the Treaty of Cahuenga. After the Mexican-American War, California became part of the United States. Why it matters. After the Mexican-American War, the United States included most of the land that it has today. And if you look at the photograph to the left, you'll see a picture of Andres Pico, and he was one of the signers of the Treaty of Cahuenga, which was discussed earlier.